Hello, Rob, and welcome to Rock and Roll English. Hi, Martin. Thanks for having me here. Thanks for coming on. Very excited to have you here. So as mentioned in the intro, Rob has a business English podcast. Is that right, Rob? That's correct. Yes, uh, we're all things business English. Uh... Okay. So again, I don't think we've had any business podcast people good description there on the podcast yes. before um, but I thought this is a great opportunity to use well to do a podcast which I have been meaning to do for a while which is to take some phrases we use in emails in English which often have a hidden meaning okay yeah. you okay with this yes yeah it, I mean, this is it's going to be a scream. I, I really think this is a great idea. <laughs> um, and I have actually added a couple more things which you may see in um, in the UK if you live here that people may write and you may be confused about the meaning. But we'll start with these business ones, okay? Because we've all been in a business environment. You're sending emails especially. And I think most of these phrases we have seen, at least seen or also used, okay? So let's let's have a chat about them okay sure. so number one so for example you send me an email and then i respond to you rob and i say yeah. for example correct me if i am wrong yes. but we discussed this in the meeting last week for example yeah. so, so that correct me if i'm wrong what yeah. hidden message is there in there for you rob i, I think it's it's quite a good one you know to open with uh, because you're immediately having to read between the lines here. Um, I know that you think you're not in the wrong uh, <laughs> immediately. Um, and uh, please don't try to challenge your opinion. Um, you know, correct me if I'm wrong. Um, I'm not going to correct you. And I know you're not wrong. So yeah. yes. No, I, I totally agree. Exactly that. I, I am telling you, look, Rob, I am correct. Don't I think you used the perfect phrase there. Don't try to challenge me. Okay. Yes. Like yeah. <laughs> this is it. But would you, would you go further and try to challenge someone? Um, I think this is where you have to be subtle. Uh, mm. Somebody says, correct me if I'm wrong. Um, I, I would take a line of agreement initially. Um, and then if there was anything else to add, um, I would politely and subtly add it maybe to the end and say, uh, in addition to your thoughts on the subject, uh, we might need to consider X, Y, and Z. Um, but n not yeah. a straight confrontation. I, I, I don't know. Mm. Yeah, I think sort of seniority comes into it, doesn't it? Because if, if certainly yeah. if you got that from your manager, you'd be yeah. like, okay, like this. Yeah. We're not, yeah. not messing around here, but yeah. I know it's, it sounds horrible, but if you're in a, a more of a senior position and someone in a less senior position yeah. ha has said this to you and you yeah. still think you're in the right, it would be like, look, yeah, who's the boss here? <laughs> Who is the boss? Yeah. Correct me if I'm wrong. I, I would feel a, if somebody sent me this sort of thing. I, I would think, well, I'm now going to question my own uh, facts and figures. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. Um, I feel like I'm almost being challenged to an extent. Yeah, no, 100%. Um, yeah, I mean, lots of these, I must admit, I'm not 100% sure. In fact, I would I would use that phrase. Yeah. But for me, I wouldn't actually be using it in a sort of aggressive way, in this passive yeah. aggressive way. I would. Mm. That would be my kind of polite way of saying, you are wrong yeah and I, I i think this is right how about you would you use this would you use this in an email yeah i i think i would but like we we've mentioned previously about context being important um yeah you've got to pick your audience definitely know who you're speaking to like you you previously mentioned about uh seniority or mm. you know the caliber of individual that you're speaking to um yeah but very interesting correct me if i'm wrong i'd use it but pick your audience Absolutely. So th this next one, for me, this is this is strong. OK, so the next one is as per our earlier conversation on the matter. So again, just to give some context. So maybe Rob has said to me, what time is the meeting later? And I respond as per our earlier conversation on the matter. The meeting yeah. is at 3 p.m. What are you yeah. thinking there? Uh, you are telling me that I missed it first time. 
or, or, yeah. or second time or however many times you've heard the information um as as per our previous conversation this is it's a reminder isn't it um that's what i'm hearing yeah i find this one really aggressive i find this one like yeah look basically the message i would be trying to send you i must admit this is one i would never use i don't yeah. think because I, I wouldn't want to be this aggressive yeah i know it, it actually doesn't maybe to someone that doesn't fully understand doesn't seem so aggressive but for me this is so i the message i received there is you're an idiot we've spoken about this stop bothering me <laughs> yes yeah if it's in response i would say yeah absolutely somebody say to you as per our previous conversation like this is not the first yeah. time you've heard this rob uh yeah pin them back big lad um you know understand this but there's you could i think you could say in a again context and framing here but mm. if you were in the middle of a conversation you could say um yeah you know as per our previous conversation on on my podcast we, we've we've already talked about this which i think is interesting i guess you could right. sprinkle some 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 sugar on on top just to take the <laughs> edges off um but yeah absolutely i find this quite passive passive aggressive in, in a way yeah, hundred um, percent. And I have received that email a few times, and I must admit, Ooh. there's nothing more demoralising than that. Yeah. Uh, or, or as per my previous email, and I just think, oh shit, I forgot about yeah. that. <laughs> and it's just like yeah, the most demoralising thing. You just yeah. think, I really am an absolute idiot. Yeah. Um, but um, so the the next one, this this is a quite an interesting one. So this is like your email sign off, okay? Because. Sure. I see so many of these. So I've just written a few here of ones that I often see. So maybe you don't use any of these. I actually forgot to check on your emails that uh, uh, maybe we exchange. So kind regards, yeah. regards, best yeah. and yours. Yeah. Like, so what, what are your opinions about these? Uh, well, I'm going I, uh, you know, full transparency here. I sign off my emails with best. Um, really? It's, yeah, I'm... Uh, you know, I, I, I'm a bit funny about this because there is kind regards and warm regards and yours faithfully, yours sincerely, yours. Um, and I I feel personally that best is nice and clean, but I I have a feeling of where you're going to take this now. Um, and I'm, I'm willing to listen, Martin. I'm willing to listen. <laughs> we had some technical difficulties. So I responded to Rob saying that he signs off his emails with best by saying I was quite surprised by that because I personally don't really understand what that means. Are we saying best wishes, best regards? You are the best person in the world. Today is the best day ever. I'm not 100% sure. But I also did mention that I think this whole thing is a matter of style because I see a lot of people sign off their emails saying best. So maybe I am the strange one because I don't like it. I'm not sure. And this is what Rob had to say. Yes, I'll take that. I'll take that. I'll need to have a look at my re revise uh, some remedial email training for myself, uh, I think. I see a lot of kind regards. I think kind regards is a nice middle ground. Um, it's not too much. It's not too little. It, you know, it shows that you're, you're paying attention. So on the subject of kind regards, I said that is how I like to sign off my emails because regards is just quite cold, I think. I like to give kind regards. And then I went on to say that one thing I really don't understand is when people sign off saying yours. It actually makes me think that it's maybe even a sexual thing, like I am yours. Yeah, if Valentine's Day, that's what I'm thinking. You know, you're like yours. I'm thinking, mm, nah, it's not, you know, it's a client. I'm not going to write this. So from here, the conversation didn't really go anywhere. I just emphasized again how much I hated the sign off best. No, I, I picked it up, you know, probably my previous career. A lot of people like, you know, emailing very fast, sharp messages around each of this is before the time that Slack and everyone was conducting stuff on WhatsApp. Um, you know, you're, you're receiving many emails a day. Maybe it's a speed thing. You're showing that you're not just because I think worse than best is not writing anything at all. You know, um, have a good day. Have you done this email? Uh, we'll see you on Monday, Martin. So, ooh, I'm in trouble. Um, I'll wear my gum shields and helmets to this meeting. 
Now at this point I agreed with Rob that no sign off sometimes is not the best but I also questioned this. I mean what's the point? It's like when I send you a message on WhatsApp if I know you obviously you have my number so I don't need to write my name at the end of that message and it's the same with emails sure if I'm emailing you for the first time then I can do the whole kind regards Martin but if we know each other is it necessary for me to write kind regards Martin when you already have my email address I think we need to change this email stuff so then we went ahead with another one which is thanks in advance so for example Hi Rob, can you finish this report for me by Monday? Thanks in advance. So let's see what Rob thinks of this. And one more thing, this is the last time of me doing this. The podcast goes back to normal now. Okay, so let's see what Rob thinks of thanks in advance. Don't pressurize me. Uh, you know, it's, <laughs> I, for, for me, this one is like, well, you know, it's forceful. It's really forceful, you know, thanks in advance. It's like, hey, 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 calm down. No one's agreed to anything, you know. Uh, you're not going to wait for my response. Thanks in advance. It's sharp, though, isn't it? I mean, I, I really feel the, the, the intensity of that statement. You know, do this thing, thanks in advance. No, you, I mean, you take the edges off. You could say something like, well, you know, I appreciate your, your time with this. You know, th this is going to be great for the team or the, the outcome is going to be awesome. Really appreciate your time you're putting in. You know, something else to take the edge of. Thanks in advance. It's like, Oof, that's, that stings. Yeah, no, um, <laughs> I, I, I totally agree. Totally agree. Again, not something that I would write because I, I just find the whole thing very strange there. Yeah. But, um, so on to the next one, which is friendly friendly reminder what do you think so again an example so rob just a friendly reminder you said you were going to send me that report we've had lots of reports on this yes. podcast already yes. um like just a friendly reminder to send me that report what are you thinking um i want to know who you are like are you a senior or are you a, are you a junior um do, do you work for me because that's the worst one i think if somebody says a friendly <laughs> reminder and that, that you know they're an employee i i actually I must admit, I get lots of friendly reminders and <laughs> right. I actually quite enjoy them because I need them because I'm yes. just not very well organized. Yeah. But I think you can only have one friendly reminder after they've sent one, then yeah. it's not really friendly anymore. But okay, yeah. to, to give you some context, then let's say I'm your, I'm your equal. Okay. And I, I yeah. give you a friendly reminder. What do you, yeah. what do you think? Um, I, to your point, it's friendly first time. Mm. Um, yeah, fr friendly reminder. Uh, could you just do that? You've forgotten. Yeah. So, oh, um, okay. I'll, I'll get right on that. And I, I think the the word choice or the vocabulary is important here as well because you can have a polite reminder. Yeah. Um, it's really, not the same as as friendly. I mean, polite is even I don't. I would say less polite than than a yeah. friendly reminder. I, I was paradoxically. <laughs> Yeah, I was thinking the exact same thing. I hadn't actually thought about that, but you're right. Yeah, a polite reminder is less polite than a friendly. There's something about the word friendly. Obviously, it's friendly. Yes. It's like, oh, yeah. I like I like that word. But yeah, polite is it's like, yeah. mm, no, mm, not, 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 I don't like this. Yeah, or even just a reminder, then that's just like, oh, like, yeah. uh, this is serious now. Like this person's annoyed. I've forgotten. And this person yes. is annoyed. But yeah, yeah. I... I like a friendly, a friendly reminder is pretty good. Yeah, I like that yeah, one. Absolutely. Um, okay, what about this one? Again, something which lots of people write when you obviously don't know who you're writing to and then you write to whom it may concern. What are your thoughts on this? Yeah, okay. So we see this a little bit. I mean, maybe not uh, so much in the email world, digital world now. Yeah. It's, I mean, it's mega formal um yeah but although I, when I, you're emailing for a job for example like you're it says maybe send yeah. an email to info at yeah. job.com <laughs> yes um, yeah to whom it may know. concern yeah yeah like a blanket email like uh, mm. I, I don't know who's going to pick this up yeah i, I would still I, I was sending out some some emails on behalf of a charity recently and i i went round this boy a number of times like to whom it may concern no that's just a little bit too much we need to be a bit more like uh, open-armed here so 
good afternoon or greetings or mm, uh, I agree. Good, good morning. No, it, find something else because I, I think it can be quite square, uh, the, yeah. this statement. I don't know what your thoughts are. No, I totally agree. I, I absolutely hate it. Again, I think yeah. it, maybe it's a sort of taste thing. Cause there, I mean, there's nothing yeah. bad. If you send, if you write that, no one's going to be offended. But yeah, I I hate it as well. So, for example, when I have applied for jobs, I would write "Dear Hiring Manager." That's one I, oh, I remember. I, I got that yes. from somewhere, and I thought that's a good idea. Yes. Just something like "Dear Job Title." Um, yes, I, I would I would definitely use. But um, a lovely example you slipped in there, Rob. Of uh, I was doing something for a charity. Just makes you look like such a good Samaritan. Well, like, uh, yeah, well, well, I wasn't name dropping. I was trying to set some context there about okay, I need to be mega friendly because I'm working for a charity. Um, yeah. So yeah, to, to whom it may concern, I, I think that's ice cold. And yeah, I agree. Uh, Horrible. We're, we're past sending things by carrier pigeon mostly. <laughs> Yeah, no, absolutely horrible one. I, I hate it. Um, so here, here are a couple. So something which is, again just seems standard now. So okay, we'll, we'll do this one at a time. So I'm sending you an email. Yeah. Okay. So I'm reaching out to you, and I would say I, let's keep like a formal situation. Let's say we've met like once, and I have to ask you for a report, like usual. Yeah. And so I say. Dear Rob, and then you often see now, I hope you're well. Yes. Is that something you like to include a lot? Uh, yeah, but it's like, um, it's an involuntary response, isn't it? Mm, uh, I agree. It's like, not really, yeah. It's like, I hope you're well. I hope this finds you well. I hope, you know, oh, something yeah, is going fine. well. Yeah, that's it, isn't it? I, ho I hope this email finds you well. That's the other one, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. A lot of emails finding people well, and <laughs> I I feel that we could potentially improve this opening line. Don't ask me what uh, context again is important, but I hope this finds you well. It is so generic; it may as well not exist on the email. Yeah. But if it's not there, things start to feel prickly quite quickly. Yeah, no, I agree. So I I find myself writing this a lot because again, yeah. if I'm if I just say, "Dear Rob, have you got the report?" or yeah. "Could you please send me the report?" It's kind of like. Yeah. He's just jumping straight in there. That's it. But yeah. if you if you like break that with like you know, dear Rob, I hope you're well, or I hope this email yeah. finds you well. I was just wondering if you could send me that report. It's like you've been yeah. eased, you've been eased into it, haven't you? That's it's not it. just sort of like someone just coming, tapping you on the shoulder and saying, "Give me the report." So, yeah, yeah it's one of those things which is, doesn't really make much sense, but yeah, something that I that I do. Um, and yes. the, the flip side to this, I suppose, so I've sent you that, dear Rob, I hope you're well. Have you got the report? Blah, blah, blah. And a common response would be, for example, dear Martin, thank you for your email. Yeah. Start. Um, yes. is, yeah. is that one you use? Yes. Uh, you know, thank you for your email. Thanks for your contact. Thanks for reaching out. Yeah. Uh, it's great to hear from you. <laughs> like there needs to be some padding before we get into the meat. Yeah. yeah. I, I agree, but it's just one of those ones again, which <laughs> yeah. you you know you're really thinking. Oh, for God's sake, he's bloody asking for that report again. Um, yeah. But you have to be yeah. polite. Thanks yeah. for um, yeah. thank you for your email. It was so lovely receiving an email about you asking me for a report. Yes, I'm, exactly. I'm, I'm so thankful. <laughs> yeah, I'm so thankful. Uh, yeah, yeah. I would say it was about this. About this. I hope this finds you well. Finding mm. a different way to say this is, you know, contextual to your, wh where are you in time? Is it the start of the week? Is it just after the weekend? Oh, that, is it yeah, at the end of the yeah. week? You know, I hope the week's treating you well. I hope you had a great weekend. I hope yeah. the Easter holidays are going well. <laughs> um, good to see you're back, you know, whatever. Um, yeah. But just shading it maybe and just not making emails find people well uh, would, would be a good move. <laughs> Yeah, because it's it's such a strange thing to say, isn't it? Like, yeah. But I hope this email finds you well. But um, yeah. but there we go. <laughs> but yeah, I certainly at the end of the email when because you can't even then when you're getting towards the end, you can't even just go straight with your regards or best. Sometimes you have to you slowly come in towards the end, aren't you? So for example, ha um, enjoy the rest of the week. Yeah, kind regards. 
yeah. Martin, for example, or have a great weekend if it's a Friday. Yeah, um, have a great um, weekend. Yeah, I, I, I like that. I, I like the word great. So, for example, I've had before have a good weekend, mm. and but that's not it's not the same, is it? If someone's asked if someone's yeah. saying have a great yeah. weekend, you're thinking, oh yeah, this is going to be good. It, yeah. So one to finish up on, which I think is quite. Um, quite relevant these days because I, I think it is coming in now like emojis smiley faces do you ever do you ever use them i do but with a select community i wouldn't mm. if you know cold emails people i'm no, working yeah. with of course I, spam straight away promotions yeah. <laughs> folder i think google calls it now you know yeah. we're putting the promotions folder spam <laughs> um and i think this it's a maybe a poor indicator of lack of judgment. I was working with a client mm. recently who, you know, didn't know their, their clients very well. And the client starts responding with lots of, uh, you know, symbols and it just killed the entire relationship. The business deal went sideways because right. there was a, a misalignment of, well, we're going to do this respectfully and you're sending me, you know, high fives and thumbs up and okay signs. And <laughs> it just, yeah, it, it, the deal went sideways just because of the misalignment of who you, you where you are in terms of communication so i think again context read the room but yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, what about yourself what, what's your opinion on this yeah again if, if you don't know someone very well um, i would i the time i find myself thinking I, I need to use one is if someone said something to me i mean generally obviously like more personal relationships mm -hmm. which they think i might be angry about yeah like for example i can't come tonight uh, we, yes. we were supposed to go out tonight but i can't come anymore yeah i mean again if it was a really close friend i would say like oh you're an idiot like but if, yeah. if it was some not that close friend and i would probably respond like um oh don't worry smiley face but like yeah. to say i'm really not bothered about yes. this in fact i'd probably yeah. think oh thank god i don't have to go out like i was i was gonna have yeah. to get dressed and go out and now i don't have to but i would yeah. that's the time i would use it to like show i'm i'm not angry and there is the yeah. thing now especially when you're that's using true. your phone you've also got to choose the type of smiley face because there, there are oh, yeah. different smiles there's like all teeth you're showing the teeth yeah it's just the smile it's yeah they're it's nuanced monster. now, aren't they? You, you've really <laughs> got to you've got to pick your pick your your weapon carefully. But and some of them can be interpreted um, badly. I mean, you could. We must do another episode on emoji sort of interpretations. What, yeah. what people think, because people can send the, you know these symbols and they come across in very different ways. Mm. You know, you're smiling, frowning, melting, um, dead. It, it's all you know. It, you know. It can escalate quite quickly. Yeah, it did. And I, again, had this in Italy once where I used the emoji of like a fist, which I see as sort of like like power, strength. Yeah. Like that in Italy yeah. is like sex. And ah, that was absolutely yeah. not, not, not my one. intention. <laughs> <laughs> good one. No, absolutely not. But um, <laughs> but yeah, as you said, we'll have to record another podcast another day to, to tackle that subject. But um, before you go, Rob, tell people where they can find out more about you. Yeah, sure thing. We're over at the businessenglishpodcast.com or .co.uk uh, either, and you'll find us there. Excellent stuff. Okay, well, thanks a lot, Rob, for your time, and we'll see you soon. Thanks for having me, Martin. It's been a pleasure. Thank you. Thanks. See you soon. Bye-bye. Cheers.